philosophy. Pimento U. Good old P.U. Pimento U, oh sweet P.U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo, poo, Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <coughs> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related in the Dover Boys in the Everglades. And uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they are off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's Female Academy close by. With their usual punctuality, the boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. Yoo-hoo! 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 And are soon on their rollicking way. Forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. Little do they know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Rookford Hall, coward, bully, cad, and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, wanders his misspent life. Hark! The Dover Boys. Drat them. Double drat them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Confound those Dover Boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! Confound them. Con! Found them! But let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! In here! Go no, up here, up here! No, no, over here, over here. Over here, in here. No, no, in here. No, in here. Over oh, here. Over here. Over here. Over here. In here. Over 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 here. Then Dora must be alone and unprotected! A runabout. I'll steal it! No one will ever know!
save her from this predicament? Will no one come to her assistance? But hold on. What's this? It looks like an alert young scout. And that's just what it is. He'll not fail her, I'll venture. Telegram for the Dover, boys. Mrs. Tom, Dick, and Larry care away with Tavern Upper Bottleneck, New York. Sirs, quote, help! Unquote. Signed, Dora. 35 cents collect. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? And now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. to the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer and closer. Don't ever do that! 
that. <laughs> In the nearby trees, we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. Here's an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Henry! Coming, mother! The modern farm is conducted on a business like... Well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? <coughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? So, as the day draws to a close and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be? Hear ye, hear ye. Tonight the muses sing 
and we hearken to Pan as with sweetly piping lute he wins us through a delightful phantasmagoria with the deathless heroes of legend and history and the entrancing figures of fiction and fantasy. And first among our illustrious hosts, we want you to meet... Thank <laughs> you. 
with the memories of the bookland frolic. All is well. All is well.
Life is sunny, oh my honey, ain't we got fun? We never worry, no reason to fuss. We never hurry, take it easy, that's all. Okay, let it go! New December, ain't we got fun? Only good times to remember, oh boy, what fun. In the meantime, in between time, ain't Run! Run! Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. He can't hurt us. He can't get in here. The cat! Lights out! What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. Look what I've got for you. <laughs> Later. Listen, you can have all the cheese you want if you... <laughs> Oh, understand? Okay. There. And that's better. Now get going! Oh, that cat he done told me out there in the kitchen. That cat he done told you what? Oh, he's come here to save us, and not to enslave us. That cat's a rat just the same. Oh, no, kids. That the cat is a two-face, a treacherous thing who leave us to sing the blues tonight. Please take my advice and don't be naughty mice. Appease him, or, or he'll get offended. Ah! He wants to protect us from the ones who wrecked us. Please hear him. He wants to protect us. Now that's what I've been saying. Gee, that'd be fine. Now then hurry and sign a truce and go fight. wanted something, uh, but you didn't know what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Uh, I always get that feeling, too. I know. I want a nice, fat, tender mouse. Yes, sir, one nice, fat, tender mouse. Mouse? <laughs> You're a nice, fat, tender mouse. You'll do. Shark. <laughs> Grit your teeth, show some fight in the stuff that you're made of. Remember to never say die. We'll do more than that. Let's get, get rid of that hat. Big 
can do it again, and we will do it again. We've got a heck of a job to do, but you can bet it to see it through. We did it before, and we can do it again, and we will do it again. We're one for all, and we're all for one. They'll get a licking before we're done. Me and the boys and the ringy, singing as we march along. We did it before, and we can do it again, and we will do it again. We'll knock them over, and then we'll get the guy and back to them. We did it before, we'll do it again. Now listen, men. To back us out of a guy, you better leave a saga, touch it off yourself, see? And remember, above all, to add an over to a jibbo, reckon I'm Fosco, Fanny, Schnipper, and L on a filigadusha. You got that? Okay. Geflogen, wie der Kommandos in der Rolle über der Place. Uh, verstunken, und das ich lasse schreien. Ich mix mir so meine Weide und es sind nur Trupps. Die schreien, die schießen, die schossen das. Mir weiß nicht, was der Lässer bedeuten, was sie schnellen so kann. the blame while the rich is all the gravy now ain't that a blanken shame put out those lights Schultz und wann Quarter? Schulz? Six forty-five and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Danke schön, danke schön. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around. Schulz! 
Bleiben diese Telefon SPC? Bleiben Sie ruhig? Bitte, mein Herr, haben Sie einen feinfällig Stick? Dankeschön. It's all yours, Von Limburger. country's most interesting zoo. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A North American greyhound. Here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elves. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cage. <laughs> nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog, and his shackle. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, sir, hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. Shame, shame, you're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. Listen now, fella. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, 
You all know how fast they multiply. Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I was framed, see? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. They can't do this to me, see? They can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. Well, you do have something to crow about. Oh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. For the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a bad boy. New to the zoo is an elephant just in from Africa. Hello, Express Company. This is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. You know, those guys have had my trunk for a week. And here we have, uh, well, these are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. Bread and butter, 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 bread and butter. Well, here we have Jay Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me, just what made you wild? What made me wild? What made me wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Tonight is amateur night. Next we have... She'll be coming round the bathroom when she comes, hello, the ah, she'll be coming round the bathroom when she... <laughs> Next we have... She'll be coming round the bathroom when she comes, <laughs> Next we have a talented artist, Maestro Padawiski. <laughs> Oh, 
in your flight, make me a child again, just for tonight. And between these covers, we find these immortal favorites. Sleeping Beauty. Remember the lovely princess who was bewitched into a deep slumber until her Prince Charming came to break the spell? Wake up, wake up! 
You lazy good for nothing. Come on, wake up. Tom Thumb. The little boy who got his name because he was no bigger than a man's thumb. Let's pay this interesting family a visit. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Thumb. Where's little Tom? Are you Tom Thumb? Uh, uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, why, I thought you were no bigger than a man's thumb. How did you get so big? Uh, vitamin B1. <laughs> the Grasshopper and the Ant. The story of the industrious little ant and the lazy grasshopper. The boy who cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Help! Help the wolf! Wolf! Help! Help! Wolf! 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 <laughs> a lad who could stand some discipline. What a dope. You'll learn his lesson someday. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk. The story of the boy who climbed a beanstalk only to be met at the top by a ferocious two-headed giant who forced Jack to run for his life. Why did you quit? Uh, he's been sick. The wolf in sheep's clothing, the fifth columnist of his day. By means of a disguise, he preyed upon unsuspecting little sheep. Nights gave us the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. All Aladdin had to do was to rub the lamp and presto, the genie appeared. I dream of genie with the light brown hair. kid again. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> hey, young fella. You're going to yell wolf once too often. Hey, go on, go on. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Can a guy have a little fun? A session in the woodshed wouldn't do that boy any harm. And here's a bird you wouldn't mind having in your own home. A goose that lays golden eggs. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to lay golden eggs. 
Not anymore, brother. I'm doing my bit for national defense. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. Remember this little nursery rhyme? This little piggy went for to market. This little piggy, he's gone for to stay home. This little piggy, he's has rush beef and smash potatoes. And this poor little piggy, he don't have anything, all kinds of things to eat. And this little piggy, he's for to cry like anything. Wee, 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 all the way. Oh, we're crying out pit sack, mother! Be careful! My corn! Cinderella and her glass slipper. The little girl who... Oh, oh, help! Help somebody! Help! Come on! Uh-oh. He's at it again. Oh! Oh! Help! Help the wall! Next we have. Next we have a talented artist, Maestro Pat Whiskey. Up. 
Usher. Give this gentleman his money back. Now we have the world's smallest entertainer. Teeny, tiny, teensy, tinny, tinny, tin. my love, in the bushes at the bottom of the garden. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Really it is. <laughs> 